Hey everybody, this is Brian over at Summers Woodworking. This is my new shop, and I'm with my contractor. His name is David Partita. He's with D&D Construction. And uh, you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself, how they can get a hold of you? Well, they can just call me at area code 956-258-6179. Alrighty, do you have a website? D&D Construction. D&D Construction. Alrighty, well, I'll show you what he done. Stay tuned. <laughs> This shed here is an 8x6. It was on the property when we moved in. As you can see the dirt in the background, that's where the old shed used to be. In order to have this shop built, I needed to get rid of the existing shed before we can have one installed. This is Jose. I told Jose he needs to get a centipede uh, sawhorse. They just laughed. They didn't know what one was. Dave and Jose, they're building the corners. As you can see, they're using two long studs and then they're cutting three sections to fill in. I guess they use that for the wiring. I don't know. On the bottom they put pressure treated wood. The rest is just general wall studs. Well, it looks like the first wall is being put up. In the front there, you can see a red line going across. And where he's standing, that's pretty much where the wall's going to be placed. Now he's just trying to get it lined up here. We're not building the shed tied into the trailer. That way, if we do sell the trailer, we can at least move a new one in. Or if we want to move, then we can go ahead and move both of these later on. Well, it looks like they got to scoot the wall. Right now they got it in place, so they're going to be drilling in the anchors, so, well, drilling the holes for the anchors. I can tell you what, this pressure treated lumber is hard to drill through. Once he got through that, the bit just kind of just grabbed right into the concrete, and that was the easier part. Once he's done drilling... Jose goes in there and he starts the nut onto the anchor. I guess that's because once you pound it in, it's going to mushroom and it'll be hard for the nut to come on. So he hammers it in and then you'll hear a hard thud. Then you know he's at the bottom. This is Anthony. He's going to be moving 
the water faucet that we had there by the door. What he first does is he gets the primer for the cement, spreads that along the outside of one piece and the inside of the other. And then he puts the cement on there. He's trying to look and see which way is the best way to put that pipe. With a little twist, he's he's got it installed. I guess you gotta allow it to cure for at least a well, I'd say a good hour before you run water. Right now, Jose and Dave, they're kind of straightening the wall. By tapping it at the top corner there, it squares it up to where it's nice and level. Once that's done, they go ahead and secure a brace on it to keep it at a nice level stance. Well, it looks like Anthony's getting ready to put on the faucet. It'll be nice to have a nice working faucet that doesn't leak. This will be on the outside of the shop area. Primer, cement, and then a little twist. That's all it takes to install PVC, just in case you didn't know. It looks like they're getting ready to finish up that back wall there. Once he gets it hammered in, he'll tighten it up, tighten that nut up on the anchor to where it draws that really nice and tight. The back wall there, it's going to have a 36 inch steel door. And in the front they got done, and I'm going to have two double 30 inch doors along with the window. This is the siding that they're going to be putting on. It's double four inch Dutch lap by Vision Pro. It's really thick, nice stuff. Not as brittle as the others that I've seen. Right now they're installing the edging. Now you see that black board there? I'll tell you a little bit about that black board. It is Georgia's South Southern Pine. It's asphalt impregnated board. It's half inch thick. It's four foot by eight foot sheets. Basically how they cut that, they scored it with a knife and then broke it to where it was nice and clear trimmed it up with a, a nice utility knife. Then they installed it with those nails. I believe they're about an inch long and they have like plastic washers on them. That board is good for uh, it's good for inhibiting water intrusion and slow air infiltration. It also helps supplement required wall bracing and traditional wall construction. It contributes extra insula insulation value. And I don't know if I told you, but it absorbs sound. Now you'll see Dave, he's installing 
the siding in and he's making sure that it clicks into that groove real nice. And then what he does is he screws them in just to hold that top part. Now Dave's drilling holes for the wiring and right there is where we're installing the junction box. Now, you don't see in this video, but he already marked the height of where we want the wiring boxes to be. Yeah. I wanted the wiring up high, that way I don't have to bend over to plug things in. I also made a hole in the wall so I could put my put an air conditioner in there. Because I want some air conditioning this summer. This is the wiring that we're going to be installing. Oh yeah, above the door. Black, black, white, and green. Green's always brown. We're installing four foot banisters. They're 65 daylight bulbs which I'm putting up fluorescence. This is a picture of the front. We've got the double doors in the window and as you can see in the back there's the rear door. And this is the front view of the house. It matches color I think pretty good. Thanks for watching.